so we're going to do one last video and uh, again we don't really have enough time in the year to cover everything that I'd really like to cover um, and so some things are not getting spoken about at all and then other things are getting really really short treatment when they really should be receiving lots and lots and lots of treatment and so here is one that I'd really like for you to try um, at home which is you basically take a broom handle and it works better if you just have the broom handle and not the whole broom and you tie some mass onto the end of it and then you determine where's the balance point okay so looking at this schematically what we're going to do is we're going to say we've got a broom handle that we're going to say is 1.2 meters long now the center of mass of that broom handle is going to be right in the middle of the broom handle it doesn't have to be you can choose more interesting objects and I certainly uh, really like to do more interesting objects but we're going to just make it simple for right now so that broom handle is going to have a center of mass that's going to be 0.6 meters from one edge and so then we're going to apply a force here uh, and we're going to have some balance point here and so this distance is going to be x and this distance is going to be 0.6 minus x and the broom handle also has some force so let's say that the broom handle um, is 200 grams and let's say that we apply a force to the other side of 700 grams or we put a mass, we hang a mass of 700 grams off that edge. Where can I put my finger so that the broom handle balances? Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that torque 1 is equal to torque 2 and so I'm going to say that 200 grams times 0 0.6 minus x is equal to 700 grams times x. Now what I want you to do is I want you to think about why I did not need to convert. Like shouldn't I be putting this into kilograms and shouldn't I be making it into newtons because the equation is torque is force times radius and that's not a force but I'm gonna argue that I'm all set just the way that I am hit pause and think about that for a second the reason why I can do this is because if I multiply this by 9.81 and that by 9.81 then those 9.81's are just gonna cancel out and if I divide this by a thousand to make it kilograms and divide this by a thousand to make it kilograms once again if I'm doing the same side to same thing to both sides of the equation I haven't really done anything to the equation so because I have symmetry it doesn't really matter what units I choose so I'm going to do this out as 120 minus 200x is equal to 700x and so I'm going to get 120 is equal to 900x and so x is going to be 120 divided by 900 and now I can cancel a 0 and I can get 12 out of 90 and I know that they both have at least a 3 so that becomes 30 and that becomes 4 and I know that there is at least a 2 so that's 15 and that's 2 so x is 2 over 15 um, and so 
I got 2 divided by 15, 13.3 13 centimeters. So, what I'm going to say is that torque is force times radius. And there, that should be a whole chapter all by itself. It should not be one section of a chapter that just uh, ends up getting one video. And if I do this out, if there's no rotation, it means that torque 1 is equal to torque 2. So force 1 times radius 1 is equal to force 2 times radius 2. And that means that for this situation, the broom handle weighing 200 grams with a 700 gram mass attached to it is going to have a balance point that's 13.3 centimeters from the end.